Hey guys, how are you? This is Grace by Shanice. Welcome, 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 welcome back. Okay, hello YouTube family. How are you? Hello to my new family that's coming in. Thank you guys for tuning in. I also want to give thanks to all my followers. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for just taking the time to hear me speak the word of God. I thank you guys for walking with me through this journey. I love the Lord. I love Jesus Christ. And you guys all know that that has been with me for a while. But I can't help just how much I love him. So I have to say it out, okay? Because I love him. All oh, the mighty things that he has done for me. And all oh, the mighty things that he is going to do for you. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So when you catch this video, it is Valentine's Day. So just in case you didn't catch my other video, I want to say happy Valentine's Day to you. And I love you in the name of Christ Jesus. And remember, Abba always loves you. Remember, we have the agape love, okay? It is the best love you can get. So listen, this is just a little story time, so I'm going to talk to you. Unless the Holy Spirit flow me in a different way, then, you know, the momentum might kick up with me. Those that have, that have been watching me for a while, you know how I flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking through me and allowing me to be a vessel for the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, I thank you, Father God. I thank you. I come to you with humbleness. Thank you, Father. I honor you and I glorify you and I magnify your name. I glorify your name and I just say thank you, Lord Jesus. And I sing mighty praises unto your name, Father God, because you are a good, good, good Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Story time. So there was a time in my life where I was... No, no, no. Let me backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. There was one day I was on the phone with my sister and she brought to my attention that I used to sing a lot. Now, if you know me personally, then you know that I actually do love to sing, right? And I didn't realize that, you know, I had stopped singing like that at one point in life, right? Now, now personally for me, if you know me personally, I don't, how can I say this? I sing for the Lord Jesus Christ. I love to sing for the Lord. I always have. That's where my heart is. Worship. I love praise and worship. So worshiping for me is a big part of my relationship with the Lord. So backpedal a little bit. So as, you know, I talked to her about it and at some time, you know, went past. I was like, wow, you know. So a couple weeks ago, I was sitting, where was I? I might have been sitting down. I was driving. I can't remember when. But out of nowhere, in my spirit, it just dropped. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I was once a singer with no song. And I come today, and I just want to talk to you guys because I don't know if I have anybody else on my channel Oh, I don't know if I have anybody else that have watched this video, but I want to let you know today, don't let the enemy come to kill, steal, and destroy because see, he'll come in and he'll take your joy and your peace. And he had even taken my song and I didn't even realize that I wasn't even singing. Someone that loves to sing, someone that loved to sing to the Lord, I was just without song. And so my message for today is just not being, not allowing so much in your life to take your song away. See, when my husband and I, when we started out, I was 20. He was 21. We met at 18, but 20 and 21, we both, you know, started to have children. And, you know, we started to move forward in that process. And there was so much going on in the world at that time. There was so much going on in our lives. And here we were trying to figure out life marriage, children, we we're trying to figure out all these things in the world. Personally, people, things was taking a toll on me. I was trying to figure out life, not only as a wife, not only as a mom, but just trying to figure out life in general. And see, I don't have to share this with you guys, but I want to share that because I need you guys to see what I'm talking about 
on how life can take so much out of you and how I've gotten to where I am right now. See, part of this is my testimony. See, I didn't get here overnight. When I sit here and I speak to you guys, when I speak these words, I didn't get here overnight. I got here because of God's grace and mercy. I got here because my father loved me. And so this is why I take the time to let you guys know how much God loves you. I take this time to let you guys know that you're never without your father because he will never leave you nor forsake you. So when the world was turning their backs on me, when people were turning their backs on me, when character assassinations and accusations and things began to arise I had my father I had to lean on him because here we were young in this world trying to figure it out did we have family yes but once you get off the porch you have to begin to grow and so that you can grow and blossom like a flower but when you sit and you realize that a part of you had been pulled out because of the struggles of life when you come to realize that you had been stripped away because life had taken a hold of you. I don't know if everyone has seen this word, but if you haven't, please go back to it. I spoke about a word about not carrying burdens on your back, not having a backpack full of burdens, okay? And when you don't know how to separate these things, it begins, you literally begin to carry the weight of the world, you begin to carry the spirit of heaviness. And so you got to take off those garments because you are supposed to have a garment of praise. Okay. Not the spirit of heaviness. Y'all, my song was gone. And I don't know who this word is going to touch today, but whoever it does, I pray it blesses you. But I come to let you know that there is a way out of this. There's a way out of that. That God is a way maker, a promise keeper. He is the light in the darkness. When I was struggling with some things, some, y'all, it was times that I was in a season that I did not understand. I was in a season that I did not get. I was going through stuff and people had no idea that I was in a dark season in my life. But God brought me out. So I have to testify to let people know that it doesn't stay the same. That life gets easier. But I wouldn't change the hands of times for nothing because I wouldn't be sitting here right now today letting you know that God is able, letting you know that God is good. I had to go through some trials and tribulations. I had to walk through the wilderness so I could get to the promised land. I come to say, children of God, you can come out of anything because I did. When anxiety had a hold of me, but God. When a lot of other things tried to come in and creep and grab me, but God, when God placed me in places so that I could grow, that wasn't meant for me to be in long term, but he set me permanently so that I can elevate, <laughs> but God. So I come to let you know, just like my shirt says, that you're capable, beautiful, and loved, okay? That God is good all the time. So as you continue to watch me and as the Lord continues to do what it is he is going to do with me in my life, I pray that the words that I give you, I pray that it blesses you all. Because I come here because the Lord's love is so pure and I cherish my father so much and I honor him that I want to do things in his will, but I want to honor him. So when I come to you guys to talk to you guys, the ones that have been attached to my channel, I do it with honor because you didn't have to click the subscribe button. I do it with honor because now your heart is attached to mine because now I've taken on the word. And so God needs me as a disciple to take care of your hearts. I cannot come if I'm coming in error. I cannot come if I'm not coming in a way that represents God. I, I That represents God, but represents his love. That represents our Lord and Savior who sacrificed his life. But I want you to know that I don't want you to become a, a singer without song. 
I'm here to help prevent that. And if you are there, I'm here to help bring you out of that. That is the call of God that God has had on my life ever since I was little. And I didn't even know. Helping people, encouraging people, being there for people, showing them a way out. Even when I didn't know God was using me, then he was using me. And so I thank God for his goodness. I thank God because his love is so pure. And he showed me that in a mighty way, in a powerful way. Our strong tower, our sovereign Lord, the Alpha and the Omega. So many mighty names, so many ways to reference. And so I just pray that the light of Christ shines upon your faces. And that everywhere you go, people see the love of God. That they see that through you. Remember to shine bright like a diamond and don't give up whatever you do. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your destiny. Don't give up on the plans that God has for you. Just don't give up. And whatever it is that you're trying to do today that you really want to do, go for it. Go to the Lord in prayer. Talk to him. He'll give you a strategy. He'll give you the blueprint to help you meet what he has placed here for you to do so that you will be able to go forward in your calling. You will be able to go forward in the things and places that God has called you to. And so I pray as I continue to speak to you guys that these words will encourage you. That it will stir up things in you that have been dormant. For every dry bone that needed to be rattled. For every spiritual gift that's been dormant. That you have needed to divinely walk in. Listen, every last one of you have a purpose. You have a plan and you have a destiny. You have a specific calling on your life that's going to benefit the kingdom of God. It's going to benefit the kingdom of God. And so as you continue to grow, as you continue to grow in the Lord, even as I continue to grow, guys, because we always all, all of us always have work to do. We always have work to do to continue growing in the Lord. And so I thank you guys for just listening in to my story time. I think I'm going to be having a little bit more of these. I am going to... Um, Talk with the Lord and see what he thinks, see what he thinks and he recommends for me to do because it is his will and not mine. My channel is for the Lord Jesus Christ. It is for our God so that we are able to glorify his name, especially in such a time as this. So I want to be in the will of God. Um, but just before I close, remember this. Remember this one thing. I don't want you to be a singer without a song. And even if you are a dancer, I love to dance as well. I love to praise dance. I don't even want you to be a dancer without a dance, okay? I don't want you to lose that. Or a writer with nothing to write. Here we are. We have all these talents, guys. Excuse me. We have all these talents. And we have all these things that we do. And we've allowed the world, right, to keep us. From not being able to move forward in these things. And take it from me. Don't allow this world to hold you down. My husband and I, we've been able to accomplish so many things. Because we kept fighting. We kept pushing. And we always knew that God had our back. But we just stepped up our faith level. Now my husband, he's always heavily, heavily walked in faith. Even more than I did at one point. Of my life, I had allowed this world to really um, never doubt God because I've never doubted Him because I know how good He is. But sometimes there could be troubles in life, and it makes your faith get like a little tiny, you know, real tiny, tiny. And sometimes you gotta have faith real big in order to believe God for the bigger things. And so I come to just let you know. I come to just let you know. That it's time for big faith. So that if you, when you have your big faith, then you can begin to see bigger things from God. 
Now, even if you don't have big faith because God loves you, he's a deliverer. So he's going to do what he said he's going to do. Because remember that God is a promise keeper. That his word does not return void. Okay? So listen, I love you guys. I pray this blesses you. Continue to just serve God like you've never had before. If you don't have a church that you go to, find you one. If you don't have one, allow God to lead you to a church. And also, if you just don't have anywhere to go right now and you just want to know more about God, I advise you go get you a Bible. Read your Bible. Read the Word. You can learn so much about God in the Word, in the Bible. Remember, the Bible is no ordinary book. So, hey, take time to open it and read it. It might surprise you, okay? It's literally a living Word. And as you read page by page, they will begin to just bounce at you. Bounce at you, okay? So I love you guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.